What's going on everyone? In this video, we're taking a look at Keyshot's latest and greatest, introducing the new AI Shots tool. AI Shots is one of the newest additions to Keyshot Studio, allowing you to use the power of AI to help generate concept iterations, add context through AI backgrounds, and even imagine images from scratch. Not only that, AI Shots runs entirely locally on your machine without needing an internet connection for active use. The only time you'll need an internet connection is during the initial download. After that, the AI model remains unmodified and does not learn or adapt from your usage. Future updates will be up to your own discretion to accept as they're released, but the initial model will still continue to work just fine. So let's take a look at the new tool. With Keyshot Studio open, you'll notice down at the bottom right of your program window, you'll see the new AI Shots button next to the old screenshot button. To initialize the tool, simply click the button and let the tool load. If it's your first time using it, this is when the AI model will be downloaded to your computer, prompted by a pop-up window. After you've downloaded the model and opened the tool, you'll then need to start the AI engine to get going. However, if your GPU has under 16 gigs of VRAM, you'll see this warning pop up on screen. You can still use the tool, but your output settings will have to remain lower to use it properly. Also note that AI Shots works on both GPU and CPU. However, by default, it runs on GPU, which is how you'll achieve the fastest results. At this point, you'll want to click the Start AI Engine button at the top right of the panel to get started. With the tool open and the AI engine running, there are three output options you can work with. Restyle, which allows you to reimagine the entirety of your scene while preserving your scene layout and core CAD data, essentially allowing you to paint your CAD data using AI. Background, which allows you to generate background environments for your scenes without affecting the model in your scene. This is incredibly useful for rapidly staging scenes and adding supporting elements or context to the main model. And Imagine, which allows you to fully imagine scenes from scratch without the need for CAD data to help drive results. It functions the same way we expect most AI image generation tools to work. This is a great way to create backplates or base imagery to use for other purposes during rendering. Each output type can be prompted using the text field just below the output type buttons, and the resolution settings can be adjusted just below that, along with a slider and numerical field that lets you dictate how many images will be rendered during each click of the start generation button. Note that Studio's AI Shots tool responds particularly well to longer and more highly descriptive prompts. If you look on the screen now, you can see an example of the prompts that were used to generate the images you're seeing on the left side of the screen. These prompts were refined and expanded to create more consistent results within Studio, and you can see what the resulting outputs look like. The outputs you're currently seeing are using the restyle output type. You can see that although the entire scene has been painted using AI, including the model's materials, the AI Shots tool respected the original CAD data. Lastly, an important note related to the new tool, the AI model used for AI Shots cannot guarantee results that are free of copyright or trademark infringements. In cases where content generated with AI Shots is intended for public use, it's imperative that you yourself ensure that the results are free of any problematic content. With that said, next time you're looking for a new way to iterate concepts quickly and generate images that tell incredible stories with speed, ease, and security, take a moment and give our new AI Shots tool a try. And as always, stay tuned, happy rendering, and we'll see you in the next one.